Good morning. Are we in morning still? Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? Try to get good morning, everyone. Good morning. Bienvenidos a todos. We're so happy you're here at Inner City Arts. Thank you for being our audience today. Uh, we're very excited to be sharing uh, this experience with Street Symphony. Let's give them a round of applause. Street Symphony is one of our uh, Skid Row Arts Alliance partners, and they do amazing work in our community. And this is the first time we've been piloting or exploring, working together uh, with the youth that we serve here at Inner City Arts. So we've had this amazing experience of having teaching artists from Street Symphony, who you'll meet today, composers and performers from the LA Phil, who have been working with our students to create original music that you'll be hearing premiered today. Uh, welcome to Inner City Arts. We are an art space for kids. We're all about fostering creativity and confidence and these beautiful humans that are here that are going to go change the world and are changing the world and we're so grateful to be hanging with them. So thank you so much and thank you Matthias for being along in the journey, our teaching artists, music teaching artists. Uh, would you like to hear some music today? Yeah. Can you try again? Would you like to hear some music today? Yeah. Wonderful. Then without further ado, uh, let's welcome Amy. There are more waters rising, we will find them into 
Did you hear any really high notes? Raise your hand if you really high notes. Raise your hand if you really low notes. Yeah, you heard all the notes, right? And it was so cool because they didn't even use the piano. I don't know if you noticed that. They were just singing by themselves without even using the piano. That's amazing. All right. I'm going to turn it over to Alex. Hi, everybody. Woo! Woo! As Katie was telling you, the inspiration for this particular residency was some visual art. So when Sonar Amy and I met these students seven weeks ago, we presented them with three very different pieces of artwork for them to uh, discover. A little bit of information about the artists and the methods that they use to create those works of art. And then we asked these students to get really familiar with those artworks, um, and at one point actually to use their imagination and climb inside of the artwork, become a part of the story, see if they could figure out what exactly the artist was trying to say with all of these different images that they came up with. And so, based on that experience, all of them wrote down their ideas, what they experienced, what they saw, what they felt, how it made them feel to be inside of this story that was being told. Um, they shared those ideas with their partners, and then they sort of found out where they connected their different ideas, added a few things, subtracted a few other things, moved things around until all of those verbal ideas, all of those words were organized into the lyrics for the songs that you're going to hear today. And I believe our first song was inspired by a work by Salvador Dali, but Nevea, would you like to tell us about the first song? <laughs> That's the right answer, yes. Here we go. <laughs> Spanish artist Salvador Dali was one of the most famous painters in the style known of surrealism. He used images that don't seem logical or even possible in real life. We look at his 1931 painting, The Persistence of Memory, and enjoy trying to figure out the meaning of the mountain clock, the ants, and the face on the sand. Looking at this picture is, is almost like being in a dream. Our song is called Time of Gold. Thank you, Rebecca. Salvador Dali's painting, The Persistence of Memory, written by Zuhe de la Torre, Antonio Delgado, Leon Hicks, Nevea Bolton, Alison Ibarra, Seven Martinez, Joshua Mejia, and Cesar Murillo.
Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Thank you, audience. 